Our story begins in the Indus Valley Civilization, one of the world's earliest urban cultures. Here, archaeologists have unearthed a seal dated around 4,000 years ago, depicting a figure seated in a yogic posture surrounded by animals. This, many scholars believe, could be one of the first depictions of Lord Shiva, portrayed as Pashupati, the Lord of Animals. From these ancient roots, Lord Shiva's presence weaves its way through the Vedic period. The Rig Veda, one of the four sacred Hindu scriptures, makes several references to Rudra, a deity of the storm and hunt. Scholars argue that Rudra is a precursor to Shiva, sharing several key attributes, including his fierce nature and his role as a destroyer. As we move into the age of the Puranas, the narratives become more detailed. Here, Shiva emerges as one of the principal deities of Hinduism, part of the Divine Trinity, alongside Brahma and Vishnu. His roles are multifaceted. He is the destroyer, yes, but he is also the protector, the benefactor, the ascetic and the householder. The philosophical aspects of Shiva are elaborated in the Shaiva Agamas, texts that delve into the metaphysical nature of the deity. As the cosmic dancer Nataraja, Shiva symbolizes the eternal cycle of creation and destruction. His dance, the Tandava, represents the rhythm and cycle of the universe. Fast forward to today and Shiva's influence is deeply embedded in the cultural fabric of the Indian subcontinent. From the snow-capped peaks of Kedarnath to the bustling streets of Varanasi, his presence is palpable. His stories etched in the hearts of millions. To summarize this journey, we've traced the evolution of Lord Shiva from possible early depictions in the Indus Valley civilization. Through his presence in the Vedas as Rudra, his emergence as a principal deity in the Puranas, his philosophical exploration in the Agamas, and finally, his pervasive presence in contemporary Indian culture. Remember, the beauty of Shiva lies in his paradoxes. He embodies destruction, yet also symbolizes creation. He is the ascetic, yet also the householder. He is fierce, yet also benevolent. In his complexity, we find a reflection of our own human experience. A reminder that life, like Shiva, is a dance of contrasts, a play of the cosmos.